There are a few key things that you might want to know about isosceles triangles. So, we have two sides that are congruent and two base angles that are congruent that you're probably going to need for some standardized test questions or maybe even your chapter test. And that is, if we draw in an angle bisector. So, if I bisect the vertex angle of that isosceles triangle, then what we've done is we've created two special types of segments. We've created a median, which means this point divides this base into two congruent segments, and we've also created an altitude, which is a segment from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. So this one segment is three things. It's an angle bisector, as we can see from those markings. It's a median, divides it into two pieces, and it's an altitude. 